Hi, this is video eight from that little guy in the corner, me, Norman Bolter. And isn't that a cool sound? It's just all this very, very, I guess on saxophone they call it, slap tones. And I've always loved playing really quiet and extremely short, just kind of touching the notes. And I remember when I first heard that, it was uh, with Roger Voisin. He put his trumpet right up to my ear and it was just microscopically soft, microscopically soft. And I thought, how in the world is he doing that? And a lot of it was phenomenal articulation that just wasn't based on the tongue as such, but was based on his embouchure being extremely close together. Now, those two topics are huge in themselves, which I'll get into at some point with articulation. That a lot of it has to do with embouchure. It has to do with tongue placement and it also has to do with how you use your ear to articulate, or as I'll say a lot of times, articulate. But really what this video is, I think I'm calling is making music where it is. And this video might be for brass players, um, Maybe from 45 and up, maybe 55 and up, maybe getting into the 60s and beyond, and they're still playing. Um, and the challenges that they have to confront with change. And since I've been accustomed to dealing with all sorts of different kinds of physiological change and where I've positioned myself in my life, in the bigger picture of my life and what I want for my life, change and being able to adapt, or as my great mentor said, being able to change, accord, you know, to continue to exist, um, I'm used to taking on different things in my life or dropping different things in my life if they're not going to help in what I need to accomplish in my life. And so we can see that even from our development of our own playing, that it's very important that, wow, when I was much younger, I played on this mouthpiece and that equipment and now I need to search for other things. <laughs> and this can happen with the trombone itself or whatever instrument you're playing, brass instrument wise and probably other instruments too, I'd imagine. Um, and mouthpiece wise, and even how you use your embouchure and how you use your air and how you use your tongue and how you actually have to think about it because this physiology will change. And so the reason why the video is called Making Music Where It Is is because if you're 60, you're not going to have the same physiology. You're not going to have the same chemistry you're probably not going to have the same mental makeup totally. I mean, you'll have been through a lot of life. 
and different things will be moving through you. And you'll be processing different things. Different things will have different importances for you. I would imagine. Obviously can't talk for everyone. But I do know that even if you think you're emotionally exactly the same or mentally exactly the same, I doubt very much that you're exactly the same at 65 as you were at 25. Therefore, you might have to make changes in the way that you breathe. Maybe you can't take that giant, unbelievable <gasps> breath the same way anymore. And even if you can, maybe it's still not filling up the way it used to. And so, maybe we have to modify certain things. I certainly had to. And I don't even think about playing huge and, you know, just filling ten concert halls with one big sound like I probably used to be able to do. I don't know about ten, but it's pretty powerful. I don't think about that anymore in that way because I've had to go with the flow with where I'm at. And so slap tones, these teeny little soft things, are great. And they're great for your embouchure. They're great for your air efficiency. Because when you get older and you don't have so much extra, then economy really sets in, doesn't it? When you don't have a lot, all of a sudden you have to be economical. Same with money, same with air, same with a lot of different things. And so, it's the efficiency, it's the timing. There's another thought process involved. And I'm worried that some people, some low brass players or brass players that I know, they're so addicted and married to their one gorgeous sound that when the day comes, you know what, if you still want to keep playing a longer phrase, you might have to lean it up a little bit. But if we're really addicted to something, or attached maybe is a better word, and that attachment is a source of identity, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. So I really recommend that people start embracing the natural changes that happen. Maybe you're not supposed to have the same sound at age 65. Maybe there's another kind of music that's, that wants to come out of you, but you won't let it because you want that one sound. Well, maybe you can get that similar sound in a more compact way. Or maybe you need to find the beauty or the qualities or the resonating point differently, because you yourself are on a different resonating point. And therefore, it's like people who, they want to do everything they could when they were 20. Nope. And that's okay. Well, what is art? If a person has the living art of themselves, they'll want to make the music, they'll want to make the art that's coming to them at the present time. So, don't be afraid of change. Making the music where it is, where it wants to be. If it's slap tones, in fact, I just wrote a whole piece using these slap tones, and it was so cool. I got into the real, almost bongo type thing, percussion aspect of our instrument, which I don't think people think about too much. We want tone. In fact, that should be one of my next videos, and I think I even made a video called Blinded by Sound. And people do get blinded by sound. If it doesn't have that gorgeous, open, rich, full, every adjective you can think of, 
They don't want to hear it. So their beauty is biased beauty according to an aspect of physical production. And I'll take someone any day who's actually saying something beyond tone that their expression and what they want to communicate is first. And maybe that's what it needs. Maybe that's the tone that it needs. Something to think about. to do. Embrace your wisdom if you're, if you're moving on in years. Embrace the fact that art isn't tied to one tone. And if you're in an orchestra, well, break the pattern of just thinking you have to sound a certain way in the orchestra. Even that's a little questionable, frankly. You don't have to sound the same way. <laughs> to where you're at now. Change in order to continue to continue. <laughs> 